Hello everybody and welcome to Cooper Studios. Thank you for watching this tutorial Tuesday. Today is the day I put back together the Skull's Eye schooner that I attempted to clean and wash and restore. So uh, I'm gonna get started on this right now with instructions off the internet. I'm getting the instructions off of classicpirates.com. The uh, picture, I mean the link to this will be in the uh, in the description. So they want you to start off with the regular stuff. Now some of this stuff has already been built, but I took it apart. So the little dinghy, take the little dinghy, and we've got to build the uh, seats for the thing. It's about as classic to the original instructions as you can get. Okay, and then I don't know why the pirates have tubes uh, connecting their stuff together, but uh, in this land I guess they have tubes. Here's an oar, here's an oar, and one of the pirates, he got, uh, he was uh, still intact, he looks very clean, and he's all good. He's going to sit right down in the boat. So I'm going to use the black bricks, it says. There's a spider web in that brick. Alright, no more spider web. It just got a little damp from the water. Two more 2 by 4s on each side. supposed to put black uh, two by twos on each in the middle of every single divide here. And now these one by four flat tiles. So instead of giving you eight cannons in the set, they actually give you four, which I think is pretty generous, and a turntable thing that they developed that spins so you could like take the cannon out turn it this way and fire it out the other side. So now I also have to start putting up the red uh, rigging, the siding. Which is so interesting to see a red pirate ship design. It's a cool idea. I centered it. There we go. And that helps hold all of the pieces together. I think this is the most fun part of the building because you realize that the detail you put down here is going to attach to the top parts here and become an integral part. That's why building the ships is interesting to me because there's a level of there's varying levels of complexity that go into building them even though this is a simple kids one from way back in the day it's great one by two uh, flat tiles that need to go in various places right there one right here right there that. One or two more. And there we go. Alright, nice. Now some more difficult stuff up here. I'm going to take a black brick and place it over the blue one. And then they want me to take a one by, I mean a two by three, two two by threes, place them there. Okay. Whoops, wait a minute. There, that's what they want. Cool. And then some more upward slope. This one here. This one here. And then we got little porthole pieces for the for the um, this mechanism. Now I'm going to get to use all these little old gray, the original old light gray. So we'll take one by three and then four. I see these are the portholes, the gun holes. And same thing on this side, three, four, one by four, a one by four, and another one by four, and a, well, guess what, a one by four, check it out, another one by four, and another one by four, ta-da. So we're adding a few more upward slopes, one by two. On this side and one on this side. 
Okay, now I get to build the kookiest part of this model, which is my favorite part, the mechanism they used for the guns, which is the most used, I'm assuming, function of this ship. The idea is it turns in the middle here. So let's build this. Uh, I need... would be better to use brown because it would look like wood. So if all this was wood and it looked like a uh, maybe a mechanical turning device. I could believe that. I could buy that into that. But we're using this red color scheme under here. It's classic. Um, a yellow. I have to build, oh, yeah, that looks realistic. I have to build four it's of these. Pirate Authentic. And a yellow. I'm going to put that smack dab in the middle. Uh, zoop, 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 zoop.